Hello po! Welcome to Kitchen More! In this video, we will discuss about the five key focus areas that the classroom observers are looking for in our integration of ICT in our lesson. Here, we are focusing on COT Indicator 8, Selected, Developed, Organized, and Used Appropriate Teaching and Learning Resources, including ICT, to address learning goals. Alam naman po natin na ang indicator na ito ay sakop ng CO2. At marahil meron tayong mga tanong kung ano-ano ba ang mga maaaring hanapin ng observer kapag nag-integrate tayo ng ICT. Kaya simula na po natin. Ano nga ba ang ICT integration? ICT integration in the classroom refers to the effective use of technology in the teaching learning process that helps engage learners in achieving the lesson objectives and enhancing their learning experiences. Sa integration ng ICT, ini-emphasize natin ang halaga ng paggamit ng technology in a meaningful and purposeful manner. Meaning, dapat alam natin ang kahalagahan ng paggamit nito at kung bakit natin ito ginagamit sa ating lesson. Bilang mga guro, dapat maging maingat din tayo sa pagpili at paggamit ng tamang technology tools, resources, and activities na angkop sa ating mga mag-aaral at sa learning goals and instructional strategies natin. Now, let's talk about technology. Ano nga ba ang technology? So, technology refers to the tools that the teachers and students use to enhance the teaching and learning experiences. This includes smartphones, tablets, computers, projectors, etc. Tayo mga guro, gumagamit tayo ng technology para mas may paliwanag natin ang ating lesson in a more engaging way. I'm sure para sa mga may projectors or TV sa school, gumagamit tayo niyan para magpakita ng pictures or videos that can relate to our topic. Others may be using educational software and computers or tablets to create interactive activities or quizzes para sa mga bata. So just like for example in one of my experiences, since merong tablet sa school, nagkaroon ako ng opportunity na gawing mas engaging yung quiz ko through an offline application, which is yung quiz maker. By the way, this is not sponsored, okay? So, by the way, don't worry sa mga hindi pa po ito alam, yung quiz maker, ilalagay ko po sa description box yung link ng app para sa mga gustong mag-install at gamitin to sa kanilang mga bata at maging mas interactive ang kanilang quizzes. So, I'm just sharing it to you kasi maganda po siya at talagang nagustuhan ng mga learners ko and no need po talaga ng internet kasi ito po ay offline. So yun po, sa paggamit ng teknolohiya sa ating lesson, mas mauunawaan ng mga mag-aaral ang ating lesson at mas madali nilang maisa sa isip ang mga concepts na itinuturo natin sa kanila at lalo pa nilang napapaganda ang kanilang learning experiences. Now we have learned all those concepts and this time let's understand kung ano ang five key areas na maaaring hanapin ng ating mga class observers during the conduct of CO2 sa pag-integrate natin ng ICT. So here are the five key areas to focus on. We have teacher's use of ICT tools, student engagement, differentiation and personalization, integration with curriculum, and classroom management. Before we continue, I'd like to ask for a favor. Pwede po pahit ng like button, pa-share na rin po ng video na ito. And also, kung hindi pa po kayo nakapag-subscribe, please subscribe na po. Be part of my growing channel po. Thank you! And now let's discuss each one on the next slides. Key focus number one, teacher's use of ICT tools. The probable question that our observer may ask while observing our class is, how does the teacher incorporate ICT tools into their instruction? How well do we incorporate and utilize ICT tools in our lesson? Paano natin ito ginamit? Paano natin ito ginamit ng mas epektibo? So, ang ating observers ay maghahanap ng mga evidences na talagang Naging purposeful and meaningful ang ating integration ng ICT. 
Meaning, pinagplanuhan, pinag-isipan ng maigi at talagang sinigurong naangko para sa mga aralin. Importante rin na makita nila na talagang ito ay nakapag-enhance ng teaching and learning experiences in that particular class session dahil naging mas engaged ang mga bata at well supported ang kanilang learning in understanding more complex concepts. So, if we seamlessly use ICT, such as multimedia presentations and real-life examples to reinforce the learner's understanding of our lesson, then it is commendable that we have used ICT in a purposeful and meaningful manner. Key focus number two, student engagement. The question is, what is the level of student engagement during the lesson? Our observers would assess kung ano ang level of engagement and active participation ng mga bata when the teacher used the ICT. Nagkaroon ba ng opportunity na mag-interact ang mga bata sa technology na ginamit natin? Na-enhance ba ang problem solving, critical and creative thinking skills ng mga mag-aaral? Yes, sigurado po yan. Say for example sa mathematics. And then ang ginamit natin ay projector. We can invite students to come to the front of the class and solve the mathematical problems using the projected visual aids or virtual manipulatives on the screen. Through this, our observers can notice that we are able to effectively engage our students, promote critical thinking, problem solving, and creativity through the use of a projector. Now, aside from that question, did our students have a chance to collaborate with peers? Of course, maaring magbigay tayo ng interactive quizzes na na-download natin sa mga tablets or pwede ring projected sa screen. Learners can form teams and compete in real-time quizzes. With this, we can promote collaboration, friendly competition, and active participation. Pwede natin itong gawin para ma-reinforce ang mga concepts na itinuturo natin sa kanila. Pwede rin para i-assess ang kanilang learning at ma-encourage sila for more peer interaction. Pero, paano naman yung mga low-tech classroom environment? Yung wala mga tablet o internet or TV projector. So, as teachers, we are very innovative. We can actually produce, create, or utilize interactive learning materials such as manipulatives, physical models, or educational games. Students can work together in groups, exploring and interacting with these materials to enhance understanding and engage in collaborative learning experiences. So there, these are the things that we need to consider in our integration of ICT in our lesson, focusing most particularly on the student engagement. E-focus number three, differentiation and personalization. Our guide question is, how well does the teacher use ICT to differentiate instruction and personalize learning experiences to meet individual student needs, interests, and abilities? Our observers may assess kung tayo ba ay gumagamit ng ICT tools na naa-accommodate ang diverse learning needs, interests, and abilities ng mga bata. So, hahanapin nila ngayon ang mga evidences na tayo ay gumamit ng mga adaptive technologies o yung mga tools, resources, and activities na kayang mag-adapt or mag-adjust sa unique individual needs and abilities, lalong-lalo na yung mga may disabilities or specific learning requirements. They may also look for varied instructional approaches or different methods, strategies, or techniques that we use para ma-deliver ang instruction at ma-meet ang mga diverse learning needs ng mga mag-aaral. Lastly, they may also look for opportunities for students to make choices in their learning in order to promote student engagement. Kasi kapag nagkaroon ng ability ang mga bata na makapag about their learning, lalo nilang mararamdaman na kasali pala sila and they take ownership of their own learning. Key focus number four, integration with curriculum. Our guide question is, how well does the teacher integrate ICT tools and activities into the existing curriculum? 
So here, our observers would assess the alignment of the technology that we use with our learning objectives, content standards, and instructional goals. This is to ensure that technology enhances and supports what is intended in the curriculum. With this concept, we need to remember that we seamlessly integrate ICT tools and activities into our lesson plans and make sure that as we deliver it, it doesn't feel forced or disconnected. As an evidence, maaring hanapin ng ating observer na ang integration ng ICT ay naging daan upang maunawaan ng maigi ng mga mag-aaral ang key concept at na-achieve nga nila ang expected skills base sa curriculum. Key focus number five, classroom management. This is the last key focus area. So our guide question is, how does the teacher manage the classroom environment while integrating ICT tools and activities? We can manage the classroom environment while integrating ICT tools and activities by applying the following. First, we need to give clear guidelines and expectations for technology use in our classroom. Ipaliwanag natin ang purpose ng paggamit ng ICT tools at magbigay ng outline ng expected behaviors ng mga bata sa paggamit ng ICT. Second, ipaliwanag ang tamang paggamit ng ICT tools. Pwede nating ipakita saglit kung paano ito gamitin para mas lalo nilang maunawaan at may apply ang kanilang natutunan kung paano nga ito gagamitin. Third, actively monitor the students. Halimbawa, kung meron tayong tablet na pinapagamit sa mga bata para sa particular activity natin, syempre dapat well-monitored sila kasi baka iba na yung mga ginagawa nila sa tablet like instead na focused sila sa lesson, eh naglalaro lang pala sila ng games. Fourth, encourage collaboration and promote teamwork. This can be done through the use of gamification elements into our lesson by giving the learners some educational games or team challenges. By employing these strategies, we can effectively manage the classroom environment while integrating ICT tools and activities, creating a conducive learning atmosphere where students can engage with technology in a productive and controlled manner. So that's all for our video. Sana po ay may natutunan kayo. Thank you so much po for watching until the end of this video. And so please help me grow my channel by hitting the like button. Also, please share this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please click the subscribe button and the notification bell. And if you want to support me more, you can send me super thanks po by just clicking the thanks button. And by doing so, you are actually helping my channel grow and earn. Thank you so much and God bless.